Look, if you're anything like myself, you have definitely come across injuries in your career as a bodybuilder or just a weightlifter in general. Nicks, some nagles, some pains, some aches, whatever. But imagine if you had this like magic pill. You could just take it and fix all of these ailments almost immediately. Now, let's say that that pill wasn't even a pill. It was just changing the form of how you eat and the foods that you consume. Within a few days of doing this, the lifelong pain that you've been in just gets completely eradicated. Well, that bullshit is completely oh, no. false and sounds way too good to be true because it absolutely is. But it's the dream that all of these gurus in diet nutrition are going to sell you based on their fundamental design or foundational change to the dietary intake oh, of no. humans. Now, one of these methods is carnivore. And Jordan Peterson, you might know him as the guy who talks a lot about different controversial topics in a very highly intellectual manner and somewhat, honestly, a very admirable man. He is a huge carnivore advocate kit and someone who honestly talks about it more than probably the carnivore MD himself. Recently, Jordan Peterson had an interview with Elon Musk at his Giga factory, and they were talking about many different things. And during a brief portion of that interview, Jordan very awkwardly brought up something about the carnivore diet. Let's take a look. Um, although the, the final thing that, that, that caused some, some, some back and shoulder injuries was um, me foolishly fighting the world champion to my right, wrestler right. and charging him at him at full speed to knock him over, which I did succeed in doing, but... Uh, a, but a, you paid a price for it. A very very high price. Carnivore diet will fix that. The what, sorry? The oh, carnivore the, diet will fix I, that. I, look, I'm all for, I, I like meat. I'm pro-meat. Yeah. I, I don't think a carnivore diet is going to fix this particular issue. I think... I my wife had an injury of 40 years, okay. and it, it resolved in two Does years on a carnivore well, diet. If you just eat steak or something? Yeah. I mean, I all eat... beef. Sure, all sure, beef. sure. I, I'm, I'm a pro. I like meat, um, but I, I think this is a. I, I think I'll probably need an operation or something. But anyway. I tried the carnivore I'll, diet sure, first. Sure. Sure. Anyways, I'm, that did happen to her. Okay. She couldn't lift her left arm above here. It took 40 years. <laughs> and two years <laughs> this it resolved. Is wild, okay. dude. Yeah. So that was something uh, to see. It also rejuvenated her physically it's, in a variety of different It's kind of, of like a senile old man just talking to, to his yeah. like hasn't grandson stopped. or something. So that's a weird thing, and I would have never believed it if I hadn't seen this, because it's so preposterous. Sure. But anyways, okay. I'm not going to proselytize about the <laughs> carnivore diets. Yeah. People are kind of up in arms about this. There's been clipped this put on TikTok everywhere, Instagram reels, all this good shit. And in the comment sections of these reels and TikToks, people are agreeing with Jordan Peterson saying that this carnivore diet is amazing and it does all the magic that he's talking about here again he said himself i wouldn't have believed it if i had gone through it myself of course there's just as many people in complete dismay believing the entire opposite opinion now what is it really when we come down to the conclusion and facts of this diet is there actually evidence to support that it will improve health and general recovery well actually yes but not because of the reasons that you think it's actually completely different from any sort of magical characteristics of the carnivore diet. Let me break this down in the simplest of terms. Usually when people start an extreme diet, they're starting it from a place of not having a particular diet beforehand, meaning they don't track what they eat, they don't consider the food that they're consuming beforehand, they just completely convert into some form of extreme dieting after never having tried before any kind of diet. Or maybe they tried, but they just dipped their toes in thinking that they did enough work to get results, but really they didn't do shit and they didn't try hard enough anything to get any kind of result. And so they start experiencing profound changes in their body and in their health from moving to some kind of extreme diet. Usually what this is, is it's literally just the fact that they're eating in a healthier environment, just globally. They're eating better foods or more selective foods based on the diet's prescriptions. And because of that, they're experiencing rapid health benefits that are accumulating really fast. Now this can give someone the depiction of, oh my God, I've never experienced this up until now. I'm having a complete resolution of all my problems and issues. And what this really means in translated into human language is that these people started eating healthier because of eating healthier, they have less inflammation in the body. They have less joint pain. They have less fatigue. They can do more things that they would have been able to do if they just eaten healthier in the first place. Now, the, the second thing here, which is also really critical, protein is the foundational structure in every cell of our entire body. It literally makes us who we are every couple of months when all of our cells turn over. When you start to eat more proteins and specifically things like amino acids, proline, creatine, you start eating generally by just consuming more meats, things that have collagen peptides, you're going to experience a lot of unique benefits. And this isn't just from 
carnivore. This is just because people started to, from a position of not eating enough protein to now adequately eating enough protein, experience said benefits. I mean, when you're eating enough collagen peptides, your body has enough prerequisite or supplies to perform collagen synthesis, which means that more tissues in your body are able to sufficiently repair themselves a lot more faster than they once did. When you have amino acids like proline, you can even commit to this even better, right? A lot of people take something like a collagen peptide supplement, but they forget that, you know, a, a protein structure isn't just a couple of proteins or a couple of amino acids, it's all of the amino acids. So if you increase your intake of all of them on top of having a lot of collagen peptides within your diet, surely you're going to experience a ton of benefits within joint tissues and other ligaments that might be in pain due to inflammatory responses or lacking the nutrients to actually repair or be healthy. Likewise, when you eat an abundance of carbohydrates and have virtually no anti-inflammatory molecules going into your diet, it becomes very blatantly obvious that inflammation is going to get higher. Generally, in, in any context, high carbohydrate diets cause an, a, a rapid amount of inflammation and oxidation within the human body. You see this in bodybuilders all the time. When they're in their preps, they're much healthier and their inflammation scores are a lot lower than when they're in the off season. In fact, a bodybuilder is the least healthiest when they're in an off season eating thousands of grams of carbohydrates per day sometimes. So the magic behind carnivore isn't that there's actually any magic at all. In fact, it's quite demystified at this point. The, the reality of the situation is you're taking a person who likely, even though they swear to you up and down that they've lived a healthy lifestyle, still up and before that point of switching to carnivore, I assure you they didn't. Look, if, if you're not tracking your total intake, you don't know what the fuck you're consuming. And oftentimes it means you just eat whatever the fuck you want. I'm sorry, it's true. Even if people swear up and down that they eat like as healthy as possible, they simply do not. And so switching into a diet that is way more constricted in terms of what you can and cannot eat makes them a lot healthier because of those constrictions. And at the end of the day, there's no magic behind Jordan Peterson's diet compared to yours or mine. It's just the way of human nature that we need prerequisites and micronutrients to be able to survive and thrive. And oftentimes people do diets, they just neglect any form of micronutrient and the carnivore diet, as I've talked about before, in meats and organ meats and cheeses and just in general animal products, you have the most micronutrients per gram of food compared to vegetables or fruits. And so when you start eating more of these animal products, of course, you're going to meet more of your micronutrient net needs and therefore benefit from having a more micronutrient complete diet. But there isn't anything inherently special about carnivore or vegetarianism or veganism, whatever the fuck. In fact, you could probably just eat as an omnivore and benefit from a lot of the different disciplines that are all these different diets, but putting them all together and making your own kind of diet, which is what I advocate for. There's definitely gonna be some carbohydrates, some fruits, some vegetables, a lot of different animal products, but it's a complete diet. So the, the lunacy of thinking that the carnivore diet is somehow unique and special is astronomically flawed at the end of the day. Hey, if you didn't know, we have a Discord down in the link below. Recommend you join it if you're interested in bodybuilding, building a ton of muscle, and generally getting to hang out with the boys, as well as we have some super secret special sources in there for you guys if you are interested. Link is down below in the description. If you can, subscribe. It's a free way to help this channel out and grow. I will see you in the next video.